How's it guys and welcome to another reshade tutorial. This time it's for UI mask. This is a great shader effect in which you can block out certain effects from your reshade that is perhaps uh, messing up with certain parts of the game but you want to keep the effect on other parts of the screen. For instance with this guide we're going to talk about the HUD and when you have depth of field on sometimes it blurs the HUD but you love the depth of field so how do you keep the depth of field? but also play with the HUD on, well, this tutorial will help you with that. Also, all links will be in the video description. And if you like this video and you want to see more, then subscribe and like the video if it helps you. Let's get started. Okay, let's try that again. For some reason, my uh, recording went missing. Can't find it, so let's just do it again. Um, to create a mask, what we're first going to do is create a screenshot of the game with the HUD on that you're having a problem with. So we'll just open up Reshade with the home key. So a way to fix it, see this is the depth of field, I don't know. Don't worry about this, this is just uh, the old Reshade always giving me this this error which is not true. But you can either fix it manually if you just go down to the depth of field section and you go down to um, manual focus over here you know you can change it so i'm going to crank it all the way down like this so that everything is blurred over here as you can see and what we're going to do is create a screenshot so let's just reload this so we get rid of this okay there we go everything is blurred so if you if you go down to settings at the bottom here it will tell you what button you must press for the screenshot if it's empty just click on it and click on an empty button on your keyboard that it can use you know so for me i don't think i use nine so we'll make it nine we'll click away uh, anywhere else so that it's not active again and we'll close the reshade and we'll just click nine and you'll see there on the top do you see there it says a uh, screenshot now okay let's just get rid of this so the screenshot i'm going to use is going to be a previous screenshot that that i did uh do before i lost the recording but now that you have the screenshot let's get out of the game okay now that we exited the game let's just check to see that we got the screenshot all we have to do is go to the game path easiest thing for me uh by ubisoft is properties and then just go to open game folder this is where your reshade is and then the screenshot should be here okay it should be this one Yes, here it is, okay. So we'll keep this um, folder open. Now, so now we need this to create a mask. And to create a mask, we're either gonna use Photoshop or GIMP. So for the, I'm not gonna show the Photoshop uh, way because if you have Photoshop, then you would know how to do it, uh, most likely. So I'm just going to use GIMP, which is a free software for those that don't have Photoshop. So you can either go to GIMP or you can do it through the Microsoft Store, right? But it's kind of the same thing. We just search for GIMP and it should come up over here, right? So let's just go to Downloads and you'll come to this page. Let's just maximize it so you can see better. So here are the different versions. See, it's in the Microsoft Store, so let's just do that one. Open up the Microsoft Store. Or you can just download directly and install it. And then in the store, you just click Install. Once GIMP has been installed, just open it up. Should look something like this. And this is what it is. So it's just a photo manipulation tool, right? It's just poor man's Photoshop. Um, what we're going to do is open up our screenshot that we created. So you can either just go look for it or you can just go to the folder and just click and drag it over. And you should see it come up here. We're just going to pull this out a little bit so you can see these are the different layers that you have for this file and to move everything you just have to you know just hover your mouse over until the thing changes to something like that and then you can you know create more space or something like that okay so what we want to do first is to create a new layer so to create a new layer we'll just go to this one over here create a new layer sorry i don't use gimp a lot so the icons are a little bit uh, placed differently from photoshop so we'll just click like this 
So we'll just make a new layer, click OK. You see then the new layer comes here. You can click and drag these layers under each other or over each other, you know. So it's movable. This over here is just so that you can see the layer below it. So you're hiding it and then you can unhide it. But because there's nothing on the layer, you see nothing. So we want to first fill this entire layer with black. So let's go to this tool. You'll see this bucket tool. This is a paint tool. So the paint tool kind of paints it like that. Control Z is just to undo. But we want to fill this entire thing. So we're going to take the bucket. You'll see here on the on the left hand side, you'll see black and it is white, right? So depending on what's on top here, that's the color that you're going to fill this area with. So if we turn it to, if we swap it with that little uh, button over here, it'll fill it with white, as you can see. And if we swap it again and we'll click, it fills it to black. So we want black, total black. Step two is we want to see the bottom layer, right? So we can see where actually the HUD is. So for that, we are going to just reduce the opacity of this layer. Let's just rename it. If you double click, you can rename the layer. So we'll call this mask. And this is the screenshot, right? So let's just call it screenshot. So it's easier for you guys. You guys don't need to do this. This is just so for the for the tutorial that uh, you know what I'm speaking about of which layer. So for this mask layer, we want to decrease the opacity and you'll see here right on top there it says opacity. We want to change this to, if you just click and you drag, so you can actually see how much of the bottom layer it's actually showing. So that's fine. This is still going to be black, right? If we put it to 100%, but just for now, so while we're working, We'll put it to that 76. It doesn't matter the percentage, just enough so that you can see. What we're also going to do is we'll create a new layer. We'll call this layer uh, white mask. Click OK or enter. So, so now that we have the white mask, this means that we are going to fill in the sections that have the HUD with the color white. So depending on the game, sometimes you might have to zoom in. So to zoom in, you just have to click on this little um, zoom tool over here. And if you click and drag, it will zoom to that section over there. And if you're holding control, you'll see there changes to a minus. So if you click once, you'll see it zoom out as much as it needs to. And if you click again, it just zooms in. So instead of click, 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 click to get to uh, the section you want, you can just click and drag and then it'll go directly to that section. That's just to give you more control. And over here, what we're going to do is select this tool over here, which is the masking tool. And we're just gonna go as precisely as you can be. So we want the section over here. So we'll click and we'll drag till it's about there. If you want to add that, you can add that by holding shift and it adds a plus, as you can see there, and we can just actually add that section in like that. And there we go. And if, if you want to draw it yourself, you can click on this tool over here. So all you'll do is you'll click and you'll see it'll create a little line. And then if you click again, you can actually create your own mask. And to close it, you just have to go to the first click that you made, right? The first node. So if you click on that, you see, and there's your mask. And if you're holding space, you can move your screenshot. So I just want to move it over here. We'll zoom into this section. And remember, we've got that mask activated over there. So we want this section over here. Let's use this tool so I can show you. We'll click the shift button to show that plus sign and we'll click once. And now you can let go of the, the shift because it knows that this mask that you're creating is just going to add it with another mask. And we'll just click here, click there. So now that we have our sections that we want to mask out, we want to add, we want to change this to white. So we just click on 
the white thing over there, you'll see it create the whole thing as white. Now, we can make this thing go back to 100%, the black mask layer. So we need to save this as a PNG now. So we'll just go to File, Export as, and over here, you'll see, I don't know why they do this, it's, it's so irritating. Just click on the plus sign here to change the extension of, in case it's a JPEG or something that, that you have at the moment. And then you go down to PNG. So we'll just click on this and we'll rename this. Now this is what you must rename it as UI mask. So to so U and then the I and then a capital M ASK dot PNG. And we'll save this in the shade shaders textures and we'll just save it in here so we'll export they're asking for this type of stuff you keep everything as default export so let's just double check within our ac unity uh, install folder let's go to reshade textures and just look for the ui mask here it is okay so we'll start our game up again Now that we're back in game, as you can see, uh, because I made everything blurry, plus the HUD, we are going to activate the UI mask. So we'll open up a reshade with the home key. Let's just make this thing a bit so you can see over here. Um, UI. And then it should come up here at the bottom, UI mask top and bottom. So we'll activate both, right? And this needs to be on top. And if you just click and you drag and you can take it all the way uh, above this bottom section over here. Otherwise, it won't work. But if you look, you'll see it. it's all the way at the bottom somewhere, right? Let's just go down. You'll see it's over here. So you can either just click and drag and take it all the way to the top. Or you can just go active top. And it will take all of the effects that you and shaders that you've got activated. And it will take it all to the top like this. And it'll put it here at the bottom because that was the last uh, shaders that you um, installed. So we want to mask the depth of field, right? So that everything else of the game has got your depth of field that you like, except for the HUD. And we'll just put that thing above the shader that you actually want affected. As you can see, you see everything is cleared up there. And that's how you do it. So in case you can't see it with uh, YouTube, let's just put a tint over this entire game. Let's tint it with um, green. Okay, so everything is, uh, and we'll just put it to the top so it's over there. And so now you love this reshade, this green <laughs> reshade, but it's affecting your HUD. So all you have to do is add tint in between top and bottom. So any, any shader in between top and bottom will, will get affected. So let's just click and drag it inside of there. And there you can see that's then the default what, what what the game is showing you. So now with this approach, obviously it won't help as much when it comes to uh, HUDs that change dynamically, you know, that get extra long or, sh or shorter or something like that. I mean, it will work, but only for that section because it's a static PNG that you're using. But this should help you with a lot of different games, and especially my reshade that uh, it's mastered for 4K and 8K. But uh, sometimes playing at a lower resolution, the depth of field sometimes messes with the HUD. And this is what you can do. I normally play games without a HUD because I find it more immersive. But uh, if you want to play with a HUD, but it's uh, blurred out, this is how you fix it. And there you go. Now you can play the game with a crystal clear HUD and still with a depth of uh, field that uh, you might like from my reshade or any other reshade that you get from the internet. Anyway. That's it for this guide. Have fun. Cheers. Bye-bye.